Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. So it's been a lot of craziness going on out here. And I feel like I just want to talk about it. We were having a really good discussion on Discord um, earlier today. And I want to kind of bring it to the podcast as well. This whole little Nas X situation has definitely taken a life of its own. So congrats to little Nas X for being an agent of chaos who definitely knew what he was doing. Um, So let's talk about my live stream first. So the live stream that I did on Saturday... They wasted no time sending me an email Sunday morning. Woke up Sunday morning, got a little bad news today. Shout out to the group, Mister. Y'all know Blackberry Molasses is my damn song. Any damn ways. They sent me a damn email telling me that my video was demonetized. Oh, really? My live stream, my two-hour live stream was demonetized. Hmm, interesting. We all know the word demon is in demonetized now, don't we? Okay. I find it funny that because I wasn't praising little Nas X's foolishness, they ran to demonetize the video. And it can't be about any of the other topics because the last few live streams were approved just fine. And I've noticed that if you're doing anything but praising him and calling this a work of art and genius, that you're automatically coined homophobic and... You know, um, you're a hateful person, you're a Christian fundamentalist, and nobody cares about your sky daddy and all this stuff. The disrespect on social media has been crazy, okay? Satan has literally been trending for like the past four days. Even, thank you, Lucifer has been trending, I mean, y'all got to really see the game that's being played here and the energy that's being put out there. Trending topic literally for the past few days has been things containing Satan, Lucifer, Old Tom Rose, Little Nas X, Satan Shoes, Miley Cyrus. It's insane. Now, today, Miley took to social media and I posted this on my Instagram page because I wasn't feeling it. She took to Instagram and she basically says, can you see Satan? So, of course, Miley Cyrus, who's very close with Lil Nas X because her daddy, Billy Ray Cyrus, jumped on the song Old Town Road, right? And she got herself a pair of the Satan shoes. You know, the ones that contain a, you know, drop of human blood. Even if that's not true, the fact that that's even being mentioned in the promo is disturbing enough, okay? I don't care if it's human blood, goat blood, or just red food coloring. The fact that they're saying that there's a drop of human blood, they're saying that for a reason. Human blood at the soles of your feet with the scripture Luke 10, 18 attached to it. The whole thing is just very disturbing. So I wasn't feeling it. You know, I felt like, you know, when people show you who they are, believe them. So that bothered me when Miley Cyrus came out this morning saying that. So, of course, she was trending. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, T, you know, this is just promo. He's doing this for attention. Trust me, I know. Little Nas X is an agent of chaos. We live in a world where people love attention and all publicity, regardless if it's good or bad, is seen as good publicity, right? Nike also came out talking about, oh, we don't have nothing to do with the shoe. Bullshit, Nike. Now, Nike is a major corporation, They definitely getting their feelings behind anybody bootlegging they shit. Imagine if I was to take the same Nike shoe and put the lovely TTV logo on there and then sell it for double the price on my, you know, to my tea sippers on YouTube, through the podcast. Go buy this Nike shoe that has the lovely TTV logo. Nike would sue the hell out of my ass for copyright infringement. But I find it very funny that they're just simply denying involvement of the creation of these Satan shoes. They're trying to distance themselves, but they're not suing Little Nas X. They're not suing the makers of these shoes who bought the Nike shoe and basically recreated it in their own version. If this was anybody else, they'd be sued. But I believe that the reason why Nike is not suing him 
is because they're going to be scared for being called out, for being homophobic. And I believe, honestly, the reason why they're using Little Nas X to push this whole Satan agenda is because he's LGBT. Because that is a class that a lot of people are scared to talk about. If you say anything but praising the LGBT, then a lot of people get upset and they coin you homophobic when that is not the case. To me, this has nothing to do with him being gay, being a member of the LGBT. I have no issues with what his sexuality is. That is his business. But I do have an issue with this agenda that's being pushed and that's being normalized, especially towards children. Okay, let's keep it real. When he came out, regardless of the lyrics for Old Town Road, he can say, well, I talked about lean and having sex in the in the song. That's fine. But you were also going to schools, you were performing this in front of children, you know what I'm saying, you were connecting with all types of kids for this song. This song went viral. Now he's saying, well, if your kids listen to it, you need to blame yourself as a parent. That's true. But don't act like you weren't gearing your shit towards children once it went viral. Okay? So I just find it funny that he did a whole 180 from gearing his stuff towards children to now him just being in support of Satan and the devil and all that stuff. And it's just really disturbing because it's like he keeps trolling. He even came out with a video the other day that says Little Nas X apologizes for the Satan shoe. And you guys see on the thumbnail, he has a teardrop. You think he's going to apologize, which I knew he wasn't going to. I knew it was some shit in the mix. And as soon as you click on it, he's talking and then he flips the script and he shows his video. So he knows what he's doing with all of this. He knows he's being an agent of chaos. But I think this goes even way deeper than Little Nas X. And let me explain to you guys why this bothers me. Not even so much the crazy trending topics, people thinking Lucifer, Little Nas X trolling, Miley Cyrus looking for attention. If you guys don't know, being a child of the 90s, okay, one of our beloved hip hop artists, people forget this. Biggie Smalls did the same thing Little Nas X is doing. See, there's nothing new under the sun, and that's what a lot of y'all fail to realize. Biggie Smalls came out with a clothing line back in the day, the 666 clothing line. He had that logo on jeans, he had it on um, hoodies, and he wore it. He even did a photo shoot. OK, and a lot of people will try and dismiss it and say, oh, that's an urban legend. Biggie Smalls never came out with a clothing line, you know, with a with a 666 clothing line. And I bought receipts today showing in the discord that, yes, he did. Back in 2017, the Grigo, they had um, they had interviewed his daughter, Tiana, because she was coming out with her own boutique and she was paying homage to her father's clothing line. And in that interview, Tiana Wallace confirmed that she was incorporating her father's original clothing line, 666, so people can get a sense of her father's vision as a designer. Biggie Smalls was in the midst of working on his clothing line before his untimely death, okay? So Biggie did the same thing that Little Nas X is doing. The same thing that he's promoting. And we can look at his death on a surface level and say it was the East Coast, West Coast War. It was the Bloods. It was the Crips. It was the whole Tupac thing. Yes, when we look at it superficial, we could say that. But if you want to look at it esoterical, I don't find it a coincidence that he was launching a 666 clothing line and then he died an untimely death. If you guys remember in the early days of the Internet, there was a pastor, G. Craig Lewis. He was one of the first ones to call out Biggie Smalls and his hip hop 666 clothing line. He also called out a lot of hip hop artists. I mean, his videos date back to like 12, 13 years ago, and they were really popular, and then YouTube started pulling them down. But he was always speaking a lot of truth to power. So I'm going to play you guys a small snippet of what he had to say about the situation. Drawing him into it. I got Biggie Smalls on here for a reason. And Biggie Smalls, we know he died, but I believe that there was something to his death. So he would call the entire Junior Mafia 666. He had clothes made and was getting ready to start a clothing line right before he died called 666. Now can you imagine, had he lived, and done that how many of our young folks will be right up here in church wearing the mark of the beast because when the devil wants to push an antichrist agenda all he has to do is raise up a super 
star. You know, it, and even in some of his lyrics, you can go back and hear how he's saying he'd rather go to hell and things like that. And and this is not a knock on Biggie. I did like Biggie. I did like, you know, a lot of Biggie's music and stuff like that. But I just want people to understand that, you know, energy is real. And the things that we attach ourselves to, the things that we give energy to can come back to affect us. And it can come back to affect us for the positive or for the worst. And I just think that it's really disturbing when you have young kids who they're not understanding the depth of this situation with these shoes and what's being promoted. And you can say that, you know, you don't believe in God and you don't believe in the devil and, you know, people are reaching. That is your right. I'm never, I'm not here to convert anybody. What you believe in and what you worship is your business. You have no control of my soul, just like I have no control of yours. So this is not why I'm doing this content. But I do want people to understand Understand, there's a lot of dark things that are going on in this world, and I want people to understand that regardless of what your religious background is, regardless of what you believe in, there's good and bad in everything. And I just find it very sad that this is just continuously being pushed as if this is a good thing, as if it's a normal thing. And it's not. Now, on top of that, they're also releasing a new movie on Good Friday, and it's causing a lot of controversy. So I find this very funny. There's all this Satan talk. And then now there's a new movie being released called Unholy. And this is bothering a lot of people on social media. Y'all go ahead and check out this movie trailer. When God builds a church, the devil builds a chapel. Believe in her. Offer your soul to Mary. Lord is with you. All right, I just wanted to show you guys a snippet of that. I didn't want to show you the whole thing. But um, I just don't find all of this stuff to be a coincidence. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned in or anchorfm.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.